Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Lydia and I make all types of fitness videos, activewear videos, as you are about to see. Today we are talking about Gymshark. <laughs> I've never tried Gymshark before. I feel like every single Lonnie New athlete also reps Gymshark though, and I've never tried Gymshark. I honestly don't know how it's happened. I have been teaching fitness classes in the fitness industry, a avid fitness enthusiast for like five years now, and I've literally never bought a single thing from Gymshark. Um, I know nothing about Gymshark, and I wanted to try it, so I thought I'd make a video about it. I'm a die by Lululemon girl, but I'm gonna let you know what I think of Gymshark. Am I gonna keep the stuff? Am I gonna return it? Watch to find out, and we're gonna get into all the details of the fit, fabric, feel all the things, figure out if I'm a Gymshark convert. <laughs> okay, so I got quite a few things from Gymshark. I just went to their like new section of their website because I was so overwhelmed. I knew nothing about Gymshark. I feel like they do drops all the time. I follow a bunch of Gymshark athletes and they're always saying something new is coming. Anyway, I was overwhelmed <laughs> by their website. But I ended up with three different full workout sets and then a workout top. So I'm gonna go through them. Um, I just got my Gymshark package. We're just gonna open up and feel my initial thoughts. Cause I'm pretty excited. I think this is the Vital Seamless 2.0. Oh dang, this actually feels super, super nice. Yeah, dang, I actually really think I like this material. I really didn't think I was going to, if I'm being super honest. I forget what this is called. I do love this color. Dang, these feel nice. I'm pretty shocked, honestly. Jim Shaw. I'm gonna be a Gymshark girl yet. Yeah, just you watch. These are honestly what I was most excited for. These are the training leggings. So in my opinion, they're pro they're they're not seamless, like classic seamless materials. This is more normally what I would go for. So I'm excited to feel these. Watch. I would have been most excited for these, and I'm gonna like them the least. Okay. So these are not what I thought they'd be at all. Really soft, really smooth. But I thought they would be like spandex, like very spandex but not really but black training bra oh these materials actually feel different though yeah these materials are in fact different v-neck training sports bra training leggings different materials i hate that those are my first impressions let's get on to the review where i actually look put together <laughs> So the first thing I got is the Gymshark Fraction Crop Top in yellow. This was kind of a no-brainer for me because I'm weird and I like working out in sleeves um, unless I'm wearing a sports bra. This is just a super basic workout shirt. It says Gymshark kind of at the bottom. It is definitely like a cottony material, but you can tell it has spandex in it to the point I would want to work out in it. 95% cotton, 5% elastane. So I feel like that's a pretty common shirt composition for these types of cottony but workout shirt. The fit in my opinion is perfect. It's boxy but not too boxy and really kind of accentuates your hip and is just the right crop length. Definitely keeping this guy but this one was kind of a no-brainer. So the next two things I got is a pair of leggings and a sports bra both from the Vital Seamless collection they just came out with. It's apparently the 2.0 so new and improved. I got the color Blue Marl. This is a classic Gymshark legging just in my opinion. It's like super basic but kind of like what Gymshark is known for. So I will say I'm super impressed. I did not think I was gonna like this fabric at all. I had tried other seamless leggings and they always just felt like too thick, too cottony to work out in, but these ones definitely feel like a workout legging. Have obviously that seamless feel. They're more cottony than like a traditional, just like pure spandex legging, but you definitely know that there's spandex in there so I wouldn't feel gross sweating in this. That was my biggest fear that I was gonna feel gross sweating in these leggings. The waistband is super compressive. It really sucks you in. I do have a little bit extra fabric right at the crotch. So it is a little bit big on me. I got a size small in all the leggings and a size medium in all the tops. The bra is super basic in my opinion. Both the leggings and the bra have that kind of polka dot -y material so it kind of creates like little shadows and in my opinion I did not get any unibutt on these seamless leggings which I know a lot of people are worried about with seamless leggings. I will say the design of this was kind of basic. I don't love the like fit of the sports bra. It's just kind of bleh 
in my opinion. Like, it's not great, it's not awful, but it's not the most flattering on me. The leggings I do enjoy, but they're definitely not my favorite out of all the things I got. Next up, I got the Adapt Marl Seamless Set in the color light purple. And I, like I said when I, I had my first impressions, I loved this color. And I like this material even better than the Vital Seamless one. I can't fully tell you the difference, like feel-wise, but these just feel smoother, a little bit more spandexy. They still have a semi-cotton feel, like that cottony seamless legging feel, but these ones feel so much more like workout leggings to me than the Vital Seamless does. I feel them next to each other and like, it's not a huge difference, but to me it's a big enough difference where I really want to work out in these, and these I'm kind of so-so about working out in, even though it is more spandexy than I expected. So again, I don't fully know the difference, but I like this set so much better. Just the feel, the fit is basically the same on both leggings, but the bra on this one, in my opinion, is so much cuter. The back is so strappy and cute. Both of these bras are low support bra. I don't have super big boobs. Both these bras could be medium support and maybe I wouldn't go for a run in them, but I would definitely lift, jump around, do burpees, and they're definitely high coverage bras. Like, they are fully covering everything and they go down pretty far. They're not like some of like the Sarah's Days bras, if you've seen my past videos, where they're really small bras. They definitely cover a lot of space so you feel super comfortable in the gym. Overall, this set for me is definitely a winner. Out of everything I got, I'm definitely keeping this set. So I'm gonna work out in it tomorrow and tell you exactly what I think about working out in this type of material. I'm used to working out not in seamless material, so. Let's see what I thought about working out in it. Okay, so I worked out in the purple Adapt Marl set today and I'm happy to report that the longer I wore this set, the more I liked it. Won't lie to you, I wore this set to work out in and then proceeded to wear it most of the day and didn't shower. So I can say that the leggings fit super well. The waist is super tight. It didn't fall down at all during my workout, which I thought was great. I didn't have any gaping or anything like that. I still don't think they're the most flattering on me. I think I realized that the fabric is just kind of bulky and not like super slimming, um, especially my leg areas. It's super cute, but also like not the most flattering on my body type personally. One thing I will say is when I was working on these, I really had to work to find like the right crotch area, if you know what I'm saying, ladies. So it's seamless leggings, so there's no front seam, but somehow I still had like a camel toe for a little bit, if you know what I'm saying. But after really working around, like once you put them in place, they stay in place, but I really did have to like work, figure out like how to get rid of that little, like little camel toe. And the bra, the bra has so much coverage. I think it is really, really great. It just covers everything, so I felt super comfortable. And like I said before, it's low support, but I think it's like a medium support, if not high support, because of how much it covers. Tag in the back was so, so itchy. It bothered me like the whole workout, but that's kind of my fault because I didn't cut it out. But I am used to like tags being able to rip out. So that was kind of a bummer that like halfway through I like wanted to rip it out, but I couldn't. But yeah, overall, I really enjoyed working out in this set. Kind of the same opinions before. The longer I wore it, the more I liked it. It definitely feels like a workout set, not too cottony like I was afraid of. Definitely like this set and really glad I'm keeping it, but still kind of like on Gymshark. If that makes sense. I'm filming this part first, so hopefully I liked working on it, but I don't know. As of right now, just trying them on for the first time and my first impressions, these guys are a winner and I will be keeping these. Last but not least, I tried the training leggings in sage green, well as the training bra in just a basic black. The leggings were not the material I thought they were gonna be like whatsoever. I thought they were gonna be like a spandex material, kind of like the 90 degree by reflex ones I talked about in my favorite affordable leggings like a really suctiony, not cottony feeling at all spandex leggings. But if I had to compare these leggings to anything, I would compare them to an aligned pant. They are buttery smooth, that like brushed material, a little bit cozy, but super thin leggings. I definitely think the look of these are like way more up my alley than the other two sets I got. The other two sets are definitely seamless sets and like in my opinion, like Scream Gymshark. And these look like something more like a traditional Lululemon design and something I would naturally gravitate to. But I actually don't think I'm gonna keep these leggings just because they're almost too thin. And these leggings are only $30, so they're a good price point. But they didn't feel like they hugged me very tightly. They felt a little loose. 
and honestly a little cheap and I can almost confirm that because after I tried them on for the first time I noticed that there's a hole right in the butt of the legging so definitely not keeping these while I like the cozy material they just don't feel like something I'm gonna work out in and I don't really need any more if I'm gonna get cozy lounging leggings honestly I'm just gonna get more Lulu lines these are pretty comparable to Lulu lines if you only want to spend $30 and I think they're honestly more flattering than the other two sets and definitely something I'd more so gravitate to but just because they were almost too thin they didn't really hug me very tight and they weren't what I was expecting I was expecting a more spandexy legging these will be going back but this bra on the other hand I freaking love this bra <laughs> so I bought a bra from Balance Athletica about a few months ago with their kingdom collection I'll insert a picture of it right here and I was so excited to get that bra I had to wait like 12 weeks to get it and I got it and the straps were way too long. It didn't fit me well. Like, but I really wanted a cute bra that was a little bit of a V shape because I think that's so much more flattering on me than any other sports bra. And this is that sports bra. In my opinion, this is the perfect V-neck sports bra. It has such a cute back. It was everything I wanted in that Balance Athletica bra. And I don't know, it's so basic, but I was just like, dang, this is like the perfect bra. It covers everything, unlike the Balance Athletica one. You saw in my initial reaction, they are two different fabrics, but I prefer this fabric to the leggings because it feels more like I can work out in it. I got it in a medium and it fits a touch big, I, I don't think I'd size down to a small. And this bra is only $25, like the one I'm comparing it from Balance is like 58. So if you're looking for an affordable bra that honestly just, you want a basic V-neck bra, this is it for only 25 bucks. This bra is like just a great, great basic bra and I would definitely be keeping it. So my overall impression of Gymshark as a first time buyer is for me, there were some wins, there were some losses. I definitely really like that purple set. I love that black bra, oh my gosh. And the yellow shirt are all winners for me. While the Vital Seamless 2 is a little too cottony for me. And if I'm being really honest, even though I'm keeping the purple set, for whatever reason, I just don't think that these seamless sets are super flattering on me. My abs are where I'm the smallest and my legs are kind of where I'm the biggest and I feel like they really accentuate my legs, at least the two seamless sets in a way I don't like love, where I feel like the training leggings, what I would naturally gravitate to, like a Lululemon-esque legging, is more flattering on me. But it is nice just to have something different in my closet. Will I be purchasing from Gymshark again? I'm not gonna rule it out. I'm definitely not like Gymshark's biggest fan. I think their price point is really really great. I got all that stuff for like $230 which is honestly pretty good. The training leggings were $30 while the Vital Seamless and the Adapt Marl were $50 which I would say is a mid-range price point. It's not as high as Lululemon but it's not as low as like an affordable legging. It's right in the middle. So if you want high quality stuff that isn't going to break the bank I would recommend Gymshark. I am probably going to keep my loyalties to Lululemon. I'm not gonna lie to you. If something catches my eye again, I'll definitely check it out, maybe order it. But I think Lululemon just flatters me in the way that I wanna be flattered, if that makes sense. I have no hate toward Gymshark. It seems like a great brand. It seems like, honestly, a great company to work for, work with, buy their stuff from. I will definitely keep supporting them if there's stuff I like, but I just don't think it's what I naturally gravitate to. But I am glad I have a few pieces from them now. So thank you so much for watching this video. Let me know if there's any other activewear companies you want me to try out and kind of give my comparison as a self-proclaimed Lululemon stan. <laughs> give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe and I will see you guys next Saturday.